Hi, I thought I'd do uh, a little video, or try and do a video today, which is a bit impossible, uh, about the fuse, fuse tool. And I'm quite enjoying using it at the moment. But the trick is to actually plug it in, go and make yourself a cup of tea, even do the vacuum cleaning and uh, come back to it so it's nice and hot. So today I thought I'd do these little charms. I was on YouTube um, the other day and I came across this lady who'd made um, these embellishments and I thought well they'll be really ideal because when I made my little angel charms uh, just using these they sold really well. Uh, I sold them for about £3.50 so I thought right I've got loads of these uh, stamped verses left over for making my card my angels because I'm always making angels. So I thought that put the two together. So here's a little demo on how I've done them. So first of all, you need to make your angels. And these foam charms here are from eBay and they come from China. So worth the wait, but they come with some really nice strong jump leads, jump, jump leads, <laughs> jump rings. So uh, that's that's a bonus. So you know they're not going to come off once you've attached them. And also from eBay, what I found with these pockets, the ideal. I think the the collectors cards, the for collectors cards, protectors, and they're really quite strong. Ideal for what I'm going to be using. So basically, did I cut a pocket? No. So right. So what I'm going to do? I just want. A pocket for this. So, right. And I've also had in my collection, all oh, for years it seems, these sequins that I got from the pound shop. So now they're really coming in handy. Right, so back to the demonstration. Right, so what I'm going to do is put my stamped verse inside there like so try and get it as really straight as you can and I'm going to use my grid on can you see it here if I do right so I'm going to move over I've lost my ruler so I'm using a nice nail board and the sound of it will really grate you because <laughs> it does me Right, so I'm following that line there, and I'm going to fuse close that edge. So once it's warmed up, it does make a really good seal. But I'm going to do just a second one, just for added security, because you don't want these little sequins escaping. So. Just run that alongside there. This soldier nine stand that I've got is really quite handy because the one that it comes with, wow, there's no use in a chocolate teapot to be quite honest. Right, so I'm going to run that along there again to seal that side. Obviously, you would take more time, but I'm conscious of the time on this video. Right, so I'm going to go again. Make sure I'm sealing the right side. That's it. On here, seal that. I mean, normally I take a lot more time of getting it straight. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this down. I mean, this isn't straight. And I probably wouldn't use this, but this is just a quick demo from what I've done. Right, so I'm going to get some sequins here. And I'm going to just put a few in. 
I like to let get the little ones just for the front so it doesn't obscure the verse. And you can put as many in as you like. I'll put a few more in at the back. Let's try and get these. I think all the little ones have sunk down to the bottom of the jar. Oh, that's clever. I just managed to pick one up then. Right, so you get the general idea, don't you? Right. So I'm going to close, fuse that closed. Let's go here so you can see what I'm doing. And fuse it closed. So I'm really enjoying playing with this tool at the moment. So I'm going to trim that off. So now I want to make a hole so another we are memory keepers tool here my copper dial so it's not going to be central because it's where where there's a gap where i can actually manage to get a hole right so i want a brad not a brad an eyelet let's have a look i like to try and color coordinate as best i can but i've run out oh no i've got some pink ones a couple of pink ones left Right, so let's put that in there. Have I used the no. right? Stick that on there, and then just squeeze that close, and that makes it so the sequins can't come out or shouldn't come out, should I say? So then, all you've got to do is add your angel or whatever charm you know you can put any sayings in these but people do like little tiny that you know if you're not going to charge the earth for them people don't mind paying probably three pound fifty anything under a fiver that i've noticed at car boot sales and fates so there you go so uh that's quite a handy little thing to make i mean i've made quite a few of them I've got a collection going on here and the video that I did for the for my dangly leg charms I've just done them just added them to that so I hope you like that idea I was inspired when I saw you know other than just making project life um, you know seal project life photos and cards in I thought how nice these are, you know, just to give somebody as a gift. So I hope you like that as much as I did. So I thought I'd share it and uh, happy crafting then. Bye for now.